What's up everybody, Robbie Oz here. Today we have a super fan craze video to jump into because we now have multi sets wishing wishing mm, within the Flash games. Now at first I'm like, yes, this is amazing. For me personally, I'm like, yes, but we had one a few days ago. And what I realized is I ended up with two weak teams instead of one strong team. So I've had to dive into a bit more strategy and allow for the potential swap. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to take you through that. I'm also just going to walk you through my decisions and steps as we go. Also, the current portfolio that, that I have, who are some good buys out there, who I still want to get. And all right, guys, let's jump over to the computer right now. All right, guys, so here you can see we have two flashes, which is very exciting. We'll bring that. England, India one up here, and they both start at the exact same time, which is just crazy, but very exciting. It just means it's going to be hectic when it comes to um, just before the game, just after the game, but I'm down for that. So we go view sets, and as you can see, two teams submitted now, so that is different. So here is set one, and I've gone for the strategy of one team allowing for India to win and one team allowing for England to win. Although I could probably go two teams for India to win at the moment. England is not performing very well. So we had two batting spots and India have brought back in Rohit Sharma and Kohli. And that has meant that there's only like, and those guys are 500 plus and Kohli actually has really bad starting points. So, um, it's not even, look, I would spend the 500 on Coley, but it's just not worth it. Uh, and he's not batting well enough. So, um, but he is on my list to buy eventually. So is Rowett eventually. So I'm going to, while I've got that in mind, let's just bring him up. Let's bring him up and see what it's worth. A top 25% cereal. So here we go. Here's Coley. And as mentioned, so his starting points, he's only an NFT level one, which is, in playing the flash games is not great. Um, so let's see what a so top twenty five would be one hundred and twenty five and lower. So there's only three here. So it's nine hundred for a Coley, and it's not good starting points. Wow. And then four fifty. It's just not worth it. As much as I. So guys, there's two hundred and sixty two NFTs currently on FanCraze, and I want to get every one of them so i just can't justify coley right now there is still a fair bit to be released of him so there's still 400 in packs so there's heaps to come so i'm just holding on the urge to buy coley for now and with sharma again he's got more than half his supply still hidden in packs but let's have a look again nft level one although he is an epic so he does get more points Whereas Coley's only a rare. Uh, so top 36, I think. Yeah, it's 4,000. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, it's just not going to happen. I mean, for me now, if, if they had epic use in the Flash games, I'd buy it. I would buy it tomorrow. But the fact that the, the use is not that great just doesn't get me. Yeah, it's not it's not excitable. <laughs> there is Danish Kartik as well, down the order. So when I was talking about a swap, Kartik is my batting swap to potentially bring in. Now, I think that's a decent option. Um, so I've got one swap there. As for Jaspit Bruma, I've got all the bowlers. So I think we have Boovy, Patel, Chilal. I've got the options to swap in. And here for Jadeja, um, we've got Pandia to swap in. So I've got an option for all three slots to slot in. And I like my 3x is basically because I think Jadeja or um, Pandia will do well. Or Boomra or one of the other bowls will do well. Whereas my bats, I'm not too worried. Um, these guys, the bowlers have been getting the points. As far as our... Now this is a... This is one I get asked a fair bit about. What's with this non-playing spot? What's with flex? What's with, you know? So as soon as a team gets announced, 
that they generally have a marketplace points link there. So I'm looking at 63 plus whoever finishes on top. And at the moment, Babar's on top. So he's 25. So he's getting a good start. That's like an 88, I think. 88. So that's what you're working out. If you can't afford a Babar, you just go next. And you're like, all right, Shaheen Afridi, how much does he get? So I'll, you'll probably see me have him um, at some stage as well. Just a good player. So I'd look at him. He'd be getting the 20 points plus whatever his starting is. Maybe 59, my guess. So not a bad option as well. And as far as this, when it comes to this player of the day pack, um, you're looking at the opposite. So remember how I said Coley was a one? So as a non-player, Coley's great because he gets the NFT level 25. That is the side I've gone with. Um, and I guess time will tell. And So I'm just going to bring down the starting points for all these guys because it's it really is important to get your head around this. I've been talking to my best friend Jesse and my wife Katie. We've been talking um, about fan craze and the hardest thing for them to get their head around is the starting points. And I think it's because... When you're playing versus when you're not playing, they're different and stuff like that. But once you get it, and here they are. So this is a level two, level two, uh, level one, which is down. But And here's the example, right? Here is a level one that isn't playing. So they're both level one. One's got 19 that's playing. One's got 25. So there's a six point difference, which is actually quite a lot. So... Um, that's what we're looking at. NFT serial level, that is top 25%. And then we've got the rarity. As you can see, three rares here and a common. So there's a difference. And then you've got your epic at the top. So I hope that all makes sense. All right, so let's go over to set two for the England-India game. And you'll see here, this is what I've gone with. Jordan getting a good bowl. Moeen, I just feel like he's only bowled two overs. This is more of a feel thing. He's only bowled two overs in the first few games. And they've taken to him. But I think he's due for a good game with the ball. And he'll always chip in with the bat. So I've gone Moeen with the chance to swap for Livingston. So I'm thinking about the swap always with my three X's. Um, and then I think there's also one more, maybe... Willie um, as an option. And then I just feel like one of these guys has to fire. And Roy has better starting. He has 63 starting. So again, we'll bring these down. Um, and Butler, just he that's the worst possible starting. <laughs> so it's a shame. But um, that's why I haven't gone for him. Um, I've gone for Moeen. Roy and Jordan. Jordan's just been super consistent, solid player. Again, and here is the Shaheen Afridi that I was talking about. Oh, he actually has 63 starting, so not bad at all. Uh, and Maxwell again for the Flash NFTs. You couldn't actually use the same Flash uh, in the first multiple line, uh, but now you can, so that's fine. Uh, let's jump into the Wendy's game. So I've got, let's bring these down again. Once I bring them down, I'm sure you'll see why I've chosen what I've chosen. So, 67 starting. That's such a good starting point. He is going to get a good bowl. And he's fresh. He didn't play the T20s. So, he was an easy selection for me. And again, poor end. Look at this starting as well. 66. So, those two are absolute no-brainers for me. I put King in, but plenty of options to swap. Um, broad again we just go to marketplace points have a look here broad well on top he's gonna he's gonna get that um, and then Coley again because he's a non-player slot that level one helps so there you go that shows exactly um, I guess and don't forget badges count as well but there's no badges today so I always head over to um, ESPN Crick Info just to check out their predictions. So they have a bit of a form guide. They talk about the major players. Now, there is more selection options today. So for the Windies, yes. Hype, uh, Brooks, Cardi, Poran, Powell, Haseen, Joseph. They're all available. So there's actually a high selection of them. 
but we don't have many Bangladeshis yet. So Iqbal, um, I think maybe one of the Husseins is available, and Mustafizwa Rahman is available. So they've given you the predictions for the sides. Uh, so that's always good to check because they're actually generally pretty spot on. Um, and then for England and India, look, I'm guessing it's probably going to be same team. So I just go and look at the last game and compare that with what's coming up. Now let's head over here for set two. And as you can see, I'm just back in the windies to, to dominate here. So here you go. This is my options. I think the bowl, it's still a little bit bowler heavy, the scoring system. And then I think Hope is due for some runs. He's fresh. So yeah, that is this. And I've just kind of made sure that I've got a selection. Now I think I have, um, let's compare that to one. So who do I have swapping options? Mm. Who do I have as swapping options now? Let's go back to this team. This is this is an area that uh, the swap-in could definitely be the bowler. So, Hope Brooks. Oh, Cardi and Powell. I haven't put Powell in there. But that's fine because I've got... Oh, no, King might not play. See, so this is the, this is the gold here, guys. They're saying King won't play. And I've picked him there. So, let's edit that set. Interesting. Pal has good starting, so this could maybe be a chance to put my pal in. Oh, he's an all-rounder. Oh, of course. That's why I haven't got him in. Interesting, guys. Interesting. Look, and I guess the worst-case scenario is... Yeah, I'm really not leaving room for a swap here, am I? Do I put Iqbal in? Where's Iqbal locked? Why are you locked? Set one. No Iqbal. Set two. No Iqbal. This is weird. Okay, maybe I will bring that to the crew's attention because obviously that isn't right. Um, for now, I guess I go with Cardi. Yeah, look, I guess because... He's my non-high multiplier. Having him in there is fine. It's interesting, no king. Hmm. Okay, guys, so that's good. And and the, the fan craze team are actually really good when you submit tickets for things like that. Uh, they jump onto it and they get back to you really quick. Now, a little portfolio update. Um, as you guys know, I'm aiming to get the 262. Uh, I'm at 233 at the moment. Um, and I did get a few big ones. So Alyssa Healy, Kane Williamson, Waka Yunus. I've got these top serials. Now, these are like min 500 investment. Um, one of the crew in the Discord actually told me when there was a cheaper Alyssa Healy up. Um, so I was able to get that. So thank you for that. Um, I might even find their name and give them a shout out because it was just like, I've made it pretty well known that uh, I wanted a Healy and a Williamson and I also want... Okay, so now, guys, help me with um, an Archer, um, I'd like, and who who else? I think an Archer and a Dravid. I think I'd like to tick those two off the list or maybe a John T. Rhodes, uh, Kevin Peterson. They're probably the four next. So if you guys see any cheap ones or if you own one and you want to do a deal with me... Uh, let me know and, and let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I'm excited. I think there'll be a pack release coming soon. Um, all right, guys. So that is just about that for now. Um, well, let's quickly have a quick look at the marketplace. See see what's happening. Oh, Warner. Oh, K.O. Rahul. Oh, Ponting. So this is exciting when you see people listing these for sale. So let's see if there's a little deal going on for any of these. A, B, top serial, 63, if I'm correct. You guys might just be about to see a big purchase here. If there's a cheap, nah, 570, nah, I can't justify 570. Um, 
for AB. I've already got a mid serial. KL, uh, 125. What is your cheapest KL? 245, 250. So basically, like when I check like this, I'm looking for that one, they call it a snipe in a Discord, where someone just wants to sell it fast, so they list, you know, like a top um, tier NFT, maybe at the bottom tier price. 460, 460. So like if one of them listed it at, you know, 200 for a top serial, I'm just looking for it. If I see it there, I'll just come in and grab it. All right, guys, so that is the double header with the double teams, which is quite a lot. Now, last double header I covered, I won both games. So that was pretty damn cool. So fingers crossed, guys, fingers crossed. Um, now, I'm just doing part one now, which is like the listing of the teams, talking through some strategy. Now, part two will probably come out tomorrow and we'll talk about the results, what I could have done better, so on and so forth. So that's it for today, guys. Please make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, talk. <laughs> <coughs> talk about it in the group in, in, in the discord let me know if you like the video what would you like to see more of let's talk about all the things would you like to see one of the staff come on for an ama i know we all want it let's talk about it in the group all right guys i'll see you in the next video